three drills that you can learn and you can use in your fights. I'm going to show you three techniques that I found in this match and that we can easily steal and practice in our Doyang. We are going to watch what can we use in our fight and when to apply those techniques. And we are going to analyze the fight about an Olympic player, Karim Zai. Nice to meet you, I'm Lorenzo and I love to share my fight analysis passion here on YouTube. If you want to improve with me, just click the like button and the subscribe button to support this channel. Now we can watch together this first action. The red starts with a stunning sidekick, but it didn't connect. The blue responds with the same technique that got blocked by the red, and now we can learn something. The red starts with a fake sidekick, but he aims for the backside with the snake kick. The blue totally fell in the trap, because as we can watch, try to cancel the sidekick, and he covers with his arms the lower side of the armor. In my opinion, this is a drill that we can easily practice in our own or in our free time. It's very simple, we use a fourth sidekick to break the tension. Then we wait a few seconds and we start with the sidekick that evolves in a snake kick. This is a very simple tactic that can easily counter any type of player that loves to cancel your sidekicks. Now we have the second drill. The red starts with the sidekick, he was able to unbalance his opponent, so he had the time to restart again and fake sidekick but with the goal to score with a punch. This technique in this right moment is very important because as we can watch, the red is in the corner. So thanks to those two sidekick and thanks to the clinch, he was able to get out of the corner with this simple strategy. So it's a very simple combination and you can practice this technique in your own too because you just need to use a sidekick, then perform another sidekick that evolved in a punch. And the more you practice at home, the higher will be the chance that you perform this same combination in your sparring too because you will acquire a muscle memory that will allow you to perform this combination in a fraction of a second and in the right moment. So how can we counter with a spinning back kick in our fight? This technique, in my opinion, is not very easy to perform in a real sparring if we do not have the proper habit, so we need the automation to perform this technique. And the only way to acquire this technique is by visualization, so you can perform this combination where you are at home by imagining your opponent that the strike kicks to you. Or much better if you have a sparring pattern that helps you to improve, so you perform a roundhouse kick or any side kick, and you understand, based on your opponent action, when to perform on the spinning back. And in my opinion, the big mistakes that a lot of coach do is that they work a lot on drills and that's very good, but then they are not able to transition the drill in a real fight. This means that athletes perform a lot of spinning kicks as drills, but they, they are not able to perform in sparring. And this happens because they practice a lot of drills, but they do not try to apply those drills in real sparring. And to do this, we have to change a little bit of things. So we need, a, for instance, partner one that we are going one and we are going to call you the player two. The second player focus only on performing spinning back kick and the first player focus on uh, kicking any type of kicks. Okay so the first player needs just to attack and the second one is just to defend with the spinning back. He can't perform any, any other type of kicks. In this way the second player can easily understand what's the best moment to perform a spinning back but this is the second step of a process. The first step is of course to create an automation with drills and once you create this automation you can pass to the step two and once you are very good on the step two trust me your athletes are going to perform a lot more spinning kicks in your sparrings. And this is the same if you are an athlete, you just need to talk with your partner and ask him not to perform only the common roundhouse kick or side kick, but ask him to perform different kicks, try asking him to be more aggressive, try asking him to be creative on, on his attacks so that you can improve it. And of course, the best moment to perform a spinning back kick is when two players, like you have in this video, have a close stance. One starts with a roundhouse kick and the other one starts with a spinning back kick. For the drill, we have a combination of an inner kick plus an eye hook kick. There are a lot of combinations that we can perform with the inner kick. There are players that are able to keep the leg up and perform with the leg in midair, even a roundhouse kick. But you need a very flexible knee. Not every player can perform those combinations. So the easier combination that you can learn is something like this. So we can use, like in this case, the inner kick plus a hook kick, or we can perform an inner kick plus a roundhouse kick. So we are going to score on the backside. This is a very good tactic in open stance, of course. But to emulate the same action, we have to watch some more seconds. We are in the last tier seconds, they performed a lot of side kicks in this match. So they have a Soton partner and they are able to rig their opponent. In the exact moment they are resting from a dynamic action, they already kicked a lot of kicks, so they are a little bit too tired in this moment. You can watch that the blue struck a, a floppy side kick. The blue tried to slowly step in, in this case probably to score with a night kick, but as you can watch he was ready to receive the opponent's kick. Probably he expected a side kick and didn't expect 
an inner kick. That's the mistake of Blue. He slowly stepping when he didn't need to because he had a point advantage. He just needed to play more defensive compared to Red. And a few seconds later, we can watch the, the Blue start to play more defensive because he is just one point ahead and he starts to dodge every single kick of his opponent. And in this case, he also take the rhythm. So he backstep, the moment the Red put the foot down, he struck a front round house kick. The Red tried very hard to recover this first round, but it wasn't enough to come back. If you want to improve your tactics and strategy like this video, and at the same time you want to support this project, click the link in the description or the first comment and join my Ko-Fi membership. Here you will be able to connect with me, you can request me some videos, and I'm going to publish some specific video based on your request, and you can already find some interesting social media course. In this platform I'm going to upload more in-depth Taekwondo guides and a complete course about social media. Just join my Ko-Fi membership by clicking the link in the description or the first comment.